Um, my name is Lauren Stutzream and I'm undead. Well, I feel that there are a lot of misconceptions out there and I'm really hoping to clear them up because it's really high time that, you know, people open their minds to the new movement of, you know, the undead. I think it's um, inconsiderate that people have this stereotype, um, you know, that we're just like stupid, you know, brainless creatures even that just don't make a contribution to society. Like, Really, like, I don't, I don't think that way about anyone. I'm a really open-minded person. You know, I read books, I, I watch the news. I'm, I mean, I feel that I am making a bigger contribution to society than maybe, maybe, maybe you even do. Well, okay. To be honest. I mean, I'm really sick of this, um, what, what is it called? The Dusk, it's the books with the, the Twilight. I'm really sick of that because I feel that, um, you know, that really makes it seem like people who have um, been resurrected from the dead or been given, you know, super life powers um, really aren't just, you know, sex crazed or, you know, hungry or crazed um, creatures that just, you know, are taking away, you know, all of these, you know, all of your women and all of your good leading men, you know, like, um, you know, if we all work together, like, it's not going to matter, um, you know, who's leading what, like, zombies and humans can come together and be one society if you just let us. You know, it's really, it's not, like, I don't understand. It's, it's, it's absolutely beyond me. I have been dating a human for f quite a, some time now, and he, you know, we don't, he tells me that he's not ready to become a zombie, so I respect his decision, you know, like, we're probably gonna wait maybe even, even until marriage, you know. <sighs> um, I don't know. I think that it should be free. This is my favorite race I think that, yes, like, I think that we are equal, but I really don't think that it's going to help at this point. I don't think our society is ready. Um, I think that it's going to take, um, you know, things, especially for children, especially for the, ch the, the children who are undead. You know, it's going to be very difficult for them uh, to, um, you know, get used to that sort of thing, you know, being around kids who do, um, you know, they have different needs and their children can't understand it because of the way that their, ch the, the way that their parents um, condition them. And that's the problem. I'm actually a full-time student right now. I'm I'm actually an art student. It's funny, like, you know, I'm sure that people don't think that you know I'd be possible of that that um, level of thinking because you know people are ignorant and they don't they choose not to um, be informed. They choose not to. But yeah, I'm you know I'm in. It happens to be the number one public art school in America right now, if you can believe that. And I was waitlisted, but. You know, it's my dream to be an artist. Uh, you know, sometimes it's hard. You know, I get, you know, smudges on, but I feel like it's more a part of the organic process anyway. So, um, yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. What do you eat? Are you, do you find yourself becoming bloodthirsty sometimes, or do you just eat what regular? Uh, have you heard of the vegan zombie movement? I've heard of it and I mean I don't quite agree with it because I feel like um, those zombies are really just trying to play up you know like what they think that um, you know regular humans want to see you know they want um, us to give in to you know their prejudices and you know be who they think that we should be and I really like I like I eat meat in the 
in the portions that are healthy for my body type. And, um, you know, like I eat, I have a well-balanced diet and like, it's, it's just, it makes me sick that, you know, people just like, you know, I, I was in, um, I was in Wendy's the other day and I asked for a frosty and, you know, she just looked at me like, like really cold, you know? And I mean, it's just small things like that, you know? I just wanted a frosty. It's just like anyone else. Like I, I have different needs, you know. Um, you know, I don't, I don't use soap. I use um, dirt, and I, I do use blood. And but I, I mean, I do take care of my teeth. You know, like I don't smell. I don't smell. Like, do I smell? Can you smell me right now? I can't smell a thing. Yeah, I mean. Like my roommates, like I've told them, like you know, if if the rotting flesh is like getting to you, tell me, like you know, I'll take care of it, you know, and I exfoliate regularly, like, um, you know, it's just so funny, like all of all of the movies and stuff are just they have, they they just feed, you know, all of these like, you know, really dumb stereotypes, and like kids are just like they they eat it up, you know. But I mean, so my hygiene is good, my diet is good, like to talk about, you know, I have a social life, you know. Um, you know, I like, I work down the street at um, the Strawberry Street Cafe, and you know, it's like, like I said, like in the city, people are a lot more accepting. Um, uh, every once in a while, I'll get like maybe, like, sorry, like an older couple, um, you know, they're typically, you know, wealthy, obviously, and they'll have their children with them, and I can tell that they are just very uncomfortable, and, you know, I, I mean, like, my life is normal, it's, it's, it's totally normal, but people can't see that because of the way I look, you know, like, and, you know, maybe every once in a while, you know, I do just, I groan, you know, I, I mean, it's just, that's who I am. Well, I mean, I'm still like learning and everything, but like, I have to say, like, I do have a passion about, you know, um, really just tearing down the misconceptions about the undead and, you know, just maybe being, you know, like calling awareness, like through my art, you know, and like, I don't care if it's freelance, I don't care if, you know, maybe, you know, there's an organization that already exists and like, that's, um, that'd be great. But I really like I don't I don't want to live for anything else because um, the undead children who are going to be in our place in a few years, you know, I don't want them to have to go through the things that I've gone through. I don't want my children to have to go through what I've gone through. It's just it's wrong, and I feel that society is headed in either two different directions. It's either going to get much much worse. The the riots are going to keep going, and the government is going to. You know, I mean, it's very possible that they're going to um, create laws, you know, to, you know, really do some damage, and perhaps even, uh, who knows. Or, on the other hand, you know, we could push for equality, and we could um, give our children a brighter future, and that's what I'm living for right now. That's right.